Failure is a step to success. Falling down is a step to success. Losing is a step to success. Pain is a step to success. But quitting is not. Never give up on what you really want to do. This is the instinct that says you've had enough. This is the instinct that says you've, you've, you've given it your best shot. You can, you can stand down. You can back off. You can take a knee. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. We are relentless. We are powerful. We are forward thinkers. We are the generation of hard workers, innovators, and creators. And we are the ones who never give up, never surrender, and never quit on our goals. This is the instinct that says, you can rest now. Do not listen to that instinct. Do not listen. That instinct is a liar and wants to bring you down. You don't judge a person by where they stand in times of comfort and convenience. You judge them by where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. When you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. As long as we're willing to put the work in, we will get there in the end. As long as we never quit. This is all about the quitting mind. So what's the quitting mind? Let's say it's day one of a job interview. We all know what that fucking shit feels like. You have your clothes laid out. You got your fucking food ready to go in the morning. You've been preparing for weeks and weeks and weeks. You show up and you bring your best self. You get the fucking job. Merry fucking Christmas. All right. After a couple months, you start showing up to work a little later. You don't look as good. Your clothes aren't fucking laid out. Your breakfast isn't ready. Your mind's getting softer. We do that shit with everything in life. When New Year's coming up, guess what? Don't have a fucking quitting mind. Repetition every day. Stay hard. If you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm going to destroy you. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care how many games you won. I don't care if you say we outnumbered. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. Every man must search his own soul. The biggest battle you will fight is with yourself. This battle will never go away. It's a fight you will have to battle for the rest of your life. You are the only person that can get yourself back up, but you're also the only person that can lie down and allow yourself to be defeated. Don't fail yourself today quitting is never an option don't fail yourself today because it's so many of our limitations are self-imposed mm -hmm. you know and we set we set something up in our brain we program our brain one way and that's our limit and until we can get past that and see what we're really made of and like get uncomfortable and experience pain. Mm -hmm. You can't real, you don't really don't know what you're capable of. When you feel you've exhausted every option, remember you haven't. If I could count the amount of times I was told no, so I created the mentality in my head of taking no as no, not right now, not no, this isn't for you. If I'd given up after the first time I'd said no, I wouldn't be here. And so it just, you know, not letting someone dictate your future if you believe in something so strongly and you want to do something so strongly, who's going to tell you to not do it? There's never a, a failure unless you quit. So if you keep going, there's not a failure. Just keep changing and moving. The person with big dreams is more powerful than the person with all the facts. But it's not so much about the opposition and the adversity that we face as it is about the perspective that we have about the opposition and the adversity that we face. Meaning perspective drives performance every day of the week. How you view what you do will always affect how you do what you do. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you are done. Once a quitter, always a quitter. Prove them wrong. You are relentless. You will never stop. This isn't a game to you. This is life or death. People don't burn out because of what they do. People burn out because life makes them forget why they do it. 
Character supersedes talent every day of the week. No retreat, no surrender. We live and we die by this. Every man must search his own soul. At a certain point, don't let your actions betray your words. You are not going to give up because of a little pain. You won't quit because of a bad situation. It isn't in your nature to give up on this. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you get the job done. You finish when you have done enough work to make progress. A little pain along the way is your rite of passage. It is the battle scars of the successful, the marks of a warrior who succeed at this adventure through life. What will your scars say about you? How many battles will you pull through to come out the other side a winner? Come out the other side an ultimate version of yourself. Never give up on what you really want to do. Then they'll say it's not your fault. And they'll tell you it's okay to stop. It's okay to settle. It's okay to give up. And that is the instinct you need to fight. You need to push back to smash into the ground. Do not take the easy way out. You think that successful people have some lucky charm. Well, let me tell you something. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find my fucking lucky charm. I and other successful people wake up every day doing the same thing, fighting fighting back against the distractions, the fears, the doubts. Do not give up based on instinct. If you are forced to stand down, to retreat, so that you can rebuild and re-attack, so be it. And we learn over time, we build into a habit to spend more time having control instead of more time being out of control. It does matter. But make that decision based on logic, not on the instinct of surrender and defeat. Opposition, adversity, challenge. Never forget why you do what you do. I'm not talking about college. I'm not talking about when you first got to the league and you got drafted. I'm talking about when you was coming up and you was in the street or you was at the park and your mom had to go sacrifice and work so you'd get your pair of cleats. I'm talking about that bite. Because everybody don't remember that. Your will and desire to win are greater than anybody else's. I know you are aware of how bad you want this. I know you are aware of what you would give to succeed. I know you want this. I know it is all you want. I know what you would give for this. So do it. Show it. Prove it. Show the world. Show them that anything you can dream of can become your reality. Success is getting back up and learning from these falls, learning from the pain and the losses. Success lies in getting back to your feet and trying again. I was just a young kid with a dream and a belief in himself. And for many times I was laughed at and not believed in, but you know what? Nothing external can, can, can defeat the internal. The only yes. thing that can take someone down or break you down is internal. Nothing external is strong enough. It's just about making sure your internal dialogue and your internal belief in yourself is strong enough that it can withstand the external. The external is there. You've got to accept it. You've got to embrace it. You've got to understand it and be aware of it. But don't let it seep into, into your internal dialogue. Don't fail yourself today. <laughs>